Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a Demi Lovato inspired look and I've gotten so many requests to do Demi Lovato inspired looks for such a long time so she just came out with her new music video and her new song Skyscraper and I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to do a Demi Lovato inspired look and I loved her hair and makeup in the video so I did a hair and makeup inspired tutorial and I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. So I completely adore the song. I think that it's so incredibly powerful and it has such meaning to it and I love her and I love the song. So I've been a fan of Demi since pretty much forever and I'm just so proud of her and I think that she's such a beautiful young lady inside and out so definitely check out the song if you haven't already. So anyways, if you'd like to to see how I did this Demi Lovato inspired look and just keep on watching. So to start off with the eyes I'm going to prime my lids using Urban Decay's primer potion and then I'm just going to blend this out using a MAC 242 brush. Okay so the first color I'm going to take is Soft Brown by MAC and it's this color right here and I'm going to apply this using an E55 by Sigma so I'm just going to pat my brush in that and I'm just going to apply this right to my lid just like that so once that's applied I'm just going to flip the brush over and then I'm going to go into All That Glitters by MAC which is this color right here so I'm just going to tap my brush in that and then I'm going to apply this right to the crease, just like this. So once I've done that, I'm going to take my MAC 227 brush and go into Shroom by MAC and apply this right under my brows. And in Debbie's look, she had a bit of a sheen to her brow bone, so Shroom is the perfect color. So now I'm going to blend these two colors together. I'm kind of working backwards a little bit, but now I'm going to go into Honesty by MAC, which is this color right here, and I'm going to apply this using a MAC 224 brush. So I'm just going to tap my brush in that and apply this right between those two colors. And then I'm just going to bring it down through the lid and the crease. So in Demi's look she had a little bit of brown shadow smudged on her lower lash line so I'm going to take Satin Taupe by MAC and apply this using a 219 pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge this in with my lower lashes just so the line isn't super harsh. Now I'm going to go back into Shroom with an E30 by Sigma, just get a little bit of that on my brush and apply it right to the inner corner because in Demi's look she had a little bit of white shadow on the inner corners of her eyes. So Demi had on a little bit of black eyeliner on her upper lash line so I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black ink and apply this using a 210 by MAC and I'm just going to run this on the upper lash line. So in Demi's look you could see that she had some wispy lashes at the outer corners of her eyes so I'm going to apply my 305's by Ardell and these are just some outer lashes. So I'm just going to apply these using my Duo Eyelash Adhesive and then I'll be right back so we can finish off the rest of the look. So for the cheeks you can see that Demi had on a little bit of bronzer so I'm going to apply my NARS Laguna bronzer using a 138 tapered face brush. So her bronzer was applied almost like a contour so I'm just going to apply this like this just like she had. Now I'm just going to blend this out and bring it towards the apples of my cheeks, just like this. So the final step to this look is going to be the lips and Demi had a very pretty coral lip. So I'm going to apply Ravishing by MAC, just right to my lips.
So this lipstick is perfect for this look because it looked like Demi had a really nice sheen to her lips, but it didn't really look like she was wearing lip gloss. So since this lipstick is a cream sheen, it has that really nice glossy effect to it, even though you're not wearing lip gloss. So that is all for the makeup. Now let's move on to the hair. So the first thing that I did to my hair is I sprayed in some heat protector and I used my Nexus heat protection styling spray. It just looks like this. And I applied this all throughout my hair. Now in Demi's look, she had very messy looking curls. So the curling iron I'm going to use today is my Babyliss Pro one inch curling iron. Looks like this. And this is going to be the perfect size for the curls because hers were more loose but they still had some definition to them so I'm going to be using this. So I just went ahead and sectioned off half of my hair so it's easier to work with. I'm just going to take about one inch sections and flip the curling iron over and then wrap my hair inside just like this and I'm going to hold this here for about five seconds and then let it go. And then you get this really pretty loose looking curl. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I'll show you one more time. So just grab a section of hair, flip the curling iron over and wrap it inside. Now that you've seen the technique that I'm going to use, I'm just going to finish off the rest of my hair. looks like once I've finished curling it and Demi's hair was a little bit more PC and messy looking so I'm going to take my Garnier curl sculpting cream looks like this. This product is great if you want very beachy messy looking hair which I personally really love so I'm going to take about that much and just rub it through my fingers just like that and then I'm just going to run this right through the curls just like this and see how I'm just like piecing it apart so I get um, a lot of volume and the curls aren't you know stuck together so you can see the difference between this side and this side the curls are just a lot more separated and defined which Demi had in her look so now I'm just going to repeat the same thing to the other side Okay, so there's one last step to the hair, and that is hairspray. So I'm going to take my Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. I absolutely love this hairspray. If you watched my June favorites, you'd, you'd know that I love my Big Sexy Hair products. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift up my hair and spray just like this. And then do the same thing to the other side. And then right along here as well. So here's the completed look for both the hair and the makeup. I think it looks very similar to Demi's and I hope that you all enjoyed this video and you found it helpful of course and I will talk to you soon. Bye.